the Medical Research Council invests in research aiming to improve human health on behalf of the UK taxpayer. The annual MRC Festival of Medical Research is an opportunity for funded researchers to share their science with a range of different audiences. Researchers run a variety of events and activities to explain their science and showcase the benefits of medical research to society. I think a key message for the festival as a whole and for the research that the MRC funds generally is just to make the public aware of how diverse our research programmes are and how important it is to fund this kind of research in the hope that we can improve human health. This sort of engagement from a, a top level scientist who are working in like research fronts and the way they get to a child level to explain matters makes a big difference in the world. We are trying to solve people's problems, people issues and addressing key problems of medical health. What we want to do as well is stimulate the next generation of scientists. People are uh, internally curious and that curiosity is the one that we want to uh, stimulate by these kind of activities as well. At the event today we essentially have a group of schools from the local area with some sixth form students that are coming in to kind of find out a little bit about what we do here. Hopefully we're going to sort of inspire them a bit about cancer research and also sort of showcase what we do. They are extracting DNA from strawberries. They're learning more about esophageal cancer and Barrett's esophagus um, and early detection of esophageal cancer. I'm really interested in the kind of the new research coming through and especially how it's applied clinically so it's quite nice to see the kind of the process through different labs from different stages of the research. A huge number of scientists that work here will have been inspired to do this kind of research from events like this. So it's really important to sort of keep, keep that going, keep, keep people being inspired by the, the, the next generation of scientists. I believe that perseverance is the, the key in what they're doing here. Um, you're going to get a thousand, maybe ten thousand experiments wrong, but the one that you do can change everything and cure a very prevalent disease. Today we've been working with five local schools and we're trying to highlight the research that we do within the centre which is based around sort of ageing and a, a healthy lifestyle and that, how that can help us age more healthily and we've also been working with the Newcastle Falcons rugby team to get some of their sort of exercise and training programmes involved as well. It's a good way of us as scientists to get out of the lab and see some new people, new faces. We all look at mitochondria and ageing and different diseases that are associated with that. So today we've got loads of kids in doing different activities that kind of simplify what we look at as researchers. It's been absolutely fantastic, it's really well organised, the children have had a fantastic time and there's lots of different activities to go on that links in with what we've been doing at school. So the whole thing is trying to get us to pause and think about how the environment actually contributes to the huge burden of non-communicable diseases within the United Kingdom. So we've got six different stalls, they're all based on the environment and their effects on health and at the end we've got a bit of an evaluation on how people think that this is all affecting them. I think it's fantastic to see the different things that the MRC are researching because as I've learnt today there's lots of areas where obviously more research needs to be found to improve the knowledge of the population. I've changed my perception in the sense that it's real evidence that what we do in public engagement actually has an effect. Today we've got one school coming in, about 20 to 30 kids who are just doing their AS levels and the idea is that they're coming in to learn about what we do at the MRCIU. I think it's really important to host events like this because firstly they're A-level students so they're trying to decide what they want to do in terms of university so it's really nice to be able to give them a bit of a, an interesting way of combining things rather than just saying do you like doing maths. 
and yeah, hopefully they'll just take a bit of fun out of it as well. So hopefully that will inspire them to maybe work in this, this field. I was finding it difficult to find a career with maths and biology in it. I didn't know if I'd want a lab-based career, but I've seen today that it's been a lot. It's, a, it's more than that. There's a lot of statistics and stuff in it as well. It's good because you get an insight into like, like real jobs. We should be uh, making our research accessible to the next generation of scientists. So getting people enthused, getting them excited about the research we do and understanding it. Medical research is very important. We couldn't do it, we couldn't advance medicine without medical research. Uh, as well as that, it's to enthuse young people uh, to actually follow the career in science, get more women in science. That's why we do what we do. A lot of people perceive it based on the, the trials that have been carried out on mice for um, cosmetic reasons. Removing some of the, the preconceptions and the incorrect thoughts that people have about the ways that they are treated is really, really important. We've opened up our um, doors for, of the department to the general public today uh, to show them a little bit of the research we do, much of which is funded by the Medical Research Council, looking at the way uh, the brain and the body age. I'm really interested in this kind of area and hope to study medicine at uni. So this is a really good opportunity to learn more about stuff that goes on in the medical area. There are so many messages you could take away from today. So for example, one message would be when and how and why our thinking skills and our brains begin to age and what sorts of things we can do across the life course that might help that. And especially delirium, I think it's important. It affects so many older people. It can be a herald for dementia. And if people can understand what the state of delirium is and how serious it is, I think it'd be a great message that people could take away from the brain maze today. With funding from the MRC and the Wellcome Trust, we've developed an immunology resource pack for schools, which is built around a card game called Super Sites that we've developed. And it mimics what we do in our research centre because they're learning what the cells of the immune system do and then thinking about how you can use novel treatments to enhance or block the functions of those cells and disease processes to improve health. And we've been particularly targeting children aged about 11 to 14 to try and increase their exposure to science and their science capital. So we've had some of the pupils who seem to have started off determined to find immunology boring, but by the time we get towards the end of playing the game, the main response is we want longer in the session to play it. And when I've announced that they can all get a free pack of the prototype pack of cards, we've had spontaneous tears from children that seemed previously to not really be very interested in the topic. People hear about cancer and it's still a scary word and I think the idea that this sort of work is going on and it's making progress reassures people. It's important because I think a lot of people are affected by cancer and they like hearing about what we're trying to do to fight it using new ways. Today I learned what exactly you know in basic term how the drug is going to work. That's what you should create more of in the public so they are more aware what exactly re medical research means and they don't have any assumptions, you know, basic assum wrong assumptions. I'd like people to go home with a few ideas that your immune system does more than just hoover up bugs. Your immune system can and will protect you from cancer by destroying cells that have started to go wrong. It's going to improve the lifestyle, it's going to improve the people's health, it's beneficial for society and it's good for society.